No, that's you're absolutely right. Um, absolutely. Sorry, I, and I don't, I don't want it to go the way they, they pushed it. I really don't, um, being a, a flirty, handsome man that I am. Uh, but if, if it is what it is, you can't have it both ways because it's not fair to us. And it's, it's, we're not equipped to know uh, which one of us we are. You know what I mean? I, I don't know if I'm the creepy one, if I'm, if I'm Biden or Trump in this scenario. And because it all depends on the woman's mood as the day that it happens. Exactly. You, no, that's not right. Uh, the law doesn't work that way. And if you're if you're having the law changed in your favor, then you can't have it both ways. Sorry, Alison. Believe me, I, I both want to grope you and slap you. Uh, not at the same time, but. Wow. Uh, <laughs> Hang on. Let's let's not you know cross any lines here. That that's not a bad idea. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, that's true. I don't want to be... I don't you know want to be any that. possibilities. I, uh, I'd like to say don't send me letters, but please, yeah, send me letters. If you're offended by this, I'll get them out. Um, <laughs> send me or dot com. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that would be funny. You know, like the, uh, the charts you hold up when, uh, like, they uh... Kind of like a Rorschach test, which is a a, 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 a a Me Too movement test where you hold up pictures of different men. Is, is this one okay? <laughs> and you got you got the picture of Trump coming in there. And then you you got uh, uh, David Hasselhoff. <laughs> and uh, and the fucking who is he? Taylor Lautner or whatever. I don't know who's cool right now. I have no idea. Uh, uh, is that a guy from Twilight? Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 yeah they were into. Oh, jeez. Uh, you know, you guys... Don't, don't ever bring that up again. Werewolf, dude. They're like, yeah. But then it crosses out on too, because I don't Levine shit this year. So, I don't think he's a sexy man. But, uh, he got, he got me, dude. Fuck, is there anybody who hasn't? And that was part of the reason they were, uh, being, uh, they're, they're being asked not to play at the Super Bowl. Um, oh, right, right. Because, because he got me, too um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why I'm with this thing. Because they, they don't know where they are. And that's, that's the problem. That's the problem with these movements that start on the internet. They're like the, the hashtag you just in the world movement that we're trying to start on the internet exactly like I'm talking about. Uh, there, there's no... Uh, they're too easily corrupted by the small groups that form around them. Because there's... You know, it happened uh, with um, Occupy. In, uh, in the worst possible way. The Occupy movement got completely out of hand and, and it, it lost its mandate and became a bunch of just fucking debauchery. Um, because these little groups formed in, in cities, these little satellite offshoots that, that had nothing to do with the original and, and took part of the message and used it for their own purposes and made it, diluted it to the point where it made no sense. Um, that happens with these movies. There's, there's, you know, if you form one, you have to have a leadership to it, I think, and stick to it. You can't just expect yeah. regular people to not uh, corrupt it, because they will. We will. We're stupid. Yeah, it's, it's what people are good at. Yeah. Um, we all have a skill, and every one of us shares that one skill. Indeed. <laughs> Oh, I'm missing stuff. Anyway, sorry. Wow. Um, all right. So, I listen to that and I love you. Joe Biden, I don't. Um, I don't even particularly like the man. I don't know a lot about him. I haven't followed him closely. Um, but uh, I would say just uh, shooting from the hip, I, I don't like him. Yeah, he just, I mean, my whole outlook is, no, there's, uh, there's always exceptions to the rule. Uh, but for the most part, when you're that old, you're part of a, your thinking is skewed because you're too, you're either too set in your ways of just old school, or you're trying your best to try to fit into the younger crowd, and you just end up putting in the wrong shit in place. Yeah, that's, you know, that's exactly what people said about Reagan, and he proved the night every single day. So, yeah. <laughs> you could be on to something with that. Every once in a while, I have my off, my um, fucking moment. You do. And, uh, I like him. 
<laughs> well, I appreciate that. I uh, right. so somebody fucking likes me. I'm missing stuff. Um, you are well liked. Uh, our, our listenership proves it because every time I try to do an episode by myself, this has only been one in recent history, but it takes huge. <laughs> well, I appreciate it, and I fucking love all of our listeners. I appreciate every one of you, and uh, I'm just waiting for the day when you get approached by a radio station with the, uh, you know, uh, we we really just want you. Yeah. Well. That's coming, and I, it's going to suck. And we're totally going to have a dramatic, like, 90s movie guy argument. But, yeah, but you know what, though? It's plain and simple. You want me to come out? You want me to be in the radio station? Yeah, all right, cool. Eric's coming with me. <laughs> it's just that simple. I don't want to do this with anybody else because I don't have this type of chemistry with anybody else. And it's funny. I just listened to uh, Adam Carolla tell the exact opposite story because he was originally, he had a show. It was a four-hour show with Danny Bonaducci. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> and he he sat down at contract negotiation time and said, "Look, yeah, I just I, I you guys are great, everything's great. I couldn't be happier." This when he was first getting into the, the industry, and uh, he said, "Just I can't I can't do Bonaduce anymore. Just, yeah, I, I, you know I don't I don't have a bad word to say about the guy, but we just we don't click. We're not there's no creatively. He's stifling me. I can't do another show with him. Please don't make me do this." <laughs> and they instantly, I guess, signed that Danny Bonaduce to another two years with him. <laughs> and <laughs> that's terribly funny. That's uh, you know, I, I should definitely see you being. You know, I'm putting my foot down. I uh, see Eric Gordon show, and I, I'm not doing it without uh, Eric. And the next thing is just uh, Eric and Gordon no longer have a show. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, no, nice talking to you. See you, Yeah. Thanks for getting my name out there, Eric. See ya. I'm going to go make a million. See ya. <laughs> I would no, not I, like a bad habit. <laughs> no, I, like, seriously, man, like, uh, I don't want to get all mushy and shit, but, you know, like, I fucking love you. And I appreciate so much the effort that. Not only did that you put into the show, that but that you put into me to make sure that I'm here to help do the show, and how you're so willing to work around my stupid fucking life and schedule, and uh, I just I just want you to know I, I I appreciate and I love you and well, thank you very much. I feel the same way, and you know, yeah, you're, 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 it is a big burden with my consistent lifestyle and uh, <laughs> and the work around your chaos. Yeah, uh, I, 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 it, you know, I know I'm not the easiest person to work with and work around, and my manager is finding that out on a somewhat daily basis with me, and uh, every time she tries to tell me something, I take it the so fucking long way, and, uh, you know, I she just tried to that. give me a little bit of fucking constructive criticism today, and I totally took a person and started screaming at her. And she's like, what the fuck is your problem? No, like, Jesus, man. Yeah. What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm like, fuck you. I, I <laughs> did that to a security guard at the community center where I was trying to podcast from the last time. And she came up and asked me to be quiet. And uh, every problem I've ever had for a month was her fault at that moment. <laughs> and uh, I went back. And this is something for you kids to keep in mind. It, it sucks to do but uh, it pays off in spades. I went back a few days later, and I pulled her aside, and I, I asked her her name, and she said her name is and I said, sir, I listen, I, I, the other night, I, I was completely out of line. You didn't deserve it. She didn't have a clue what the hell I was talking about. She didn't remember it at all. Really? Uh, but yeah, I loved the apology, and uh, asked me out afterwards. So. Did you get a blowjob out of it? I did not. <laughs> no, no. I, I, haven't, I haven't actually gone out with her yet. Uh, but, uh, just, uh, if you do that and you know you did it, just go back and say so. It, it, it's, it, it sucks, but it's the right thing to do. Um, and we all do it. We, we all turn into somebody who doesn't deserve it at one point or another. And just let them know that you did that. I mean, it's not their fault. And, uh, don't get all fucking Robin Williams in, in, uh, Goodwill over it. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. <laughs> so you're fault. Don't, don't do that. That that would be creepy. But uh, yeah, just tell the way you fucked up, and it goes along with. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I never, 
I see. I've heard that reference numerous times, and I never actually knew it. Some Family Guy did a thing with that, uh, where uh, Stewie and Brian were talking, and Brian just comes up. It's not your fault. Stewie's like, "What do you? I know it's not my fault." <laughs> it's not your fault. Shut up, man. It, it's not your fault. Shut up, man. Just, just shut up. You just shut your mouth. It's not your fault. <laughs> yeah. 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 They did it really, really well, actually. And I had no idea that that's what that was from. So right. uh, thank you for that. <laughs> uh, I, someone, I love that movie. I, I always did. Um, and someone bought me their screenplay. Oh, wow. As a gift. In, uh, I was just, uh, just out of high school. And uh, a friend of mine bought me the screenplay as a, as a gift. Which is kind of a cool chick gift to give. I mean, you get that screenplay of your favorite movie. Um, but I, know, I realized that it's a movie that if you read the lines differently... They're not cool at all. Like, if you just change the punctuation a little bit, you completely change the movie. <laughs> like that. Hey, do you like apples? I got a number. How do you like them apples? You need to change the punctuation a little bit. And then, I got the number. How do you like them? Apples? <laughs> it's, it's weird. It's weird. I, I love that so much. Like taking a, a really good statement or comment or something like that, and then just changing the basic punctuation yeah. on it. I got a number. It completely. I got a number. How do you like them apples? That's a real old movie. Oh, that's yeah. too fucking funny. Uh, something else. We're on the arms of the twist by the police. Uh, here's something that I knew would finally happen one day, and it did, and it just feels like getting a sliver out of my toe. Twenty-eight year old man suffers a severe stroke from cracking his neck. Oh wow, really? Could have been life ending, his right eye is fucked, is he couldn't walk for days. Um uh, totally gave himself brain damage. Um doctors say definitely could have been life ending. He's very lucky to be alive and it's just from that gross thing they do when they crack their own neck. And I always knew that was a bad thing. That just seemed wrong to me. Wow. Uh, yeah, I can't. No. I don't, no. I don't think you should crack anything. But uh, I, I always said this was going to happen to somebody. And I warned everybody. And everyone thinks I'm an idiot. Well, there. Who's always right? Eric's always fucking right. I thought I was wrong once, but I was mistaken. <laughs> Which in the end, something else will make you right. <laughs> <laughs> I saw, I've been waiting for this forever. I show you guys what I said, yeah. You uh, look kind of goofy to begin with, so. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, that shit just makes me uncomfortable. Uh, I can handle people cracking their backs and arms or knuckles or whatever, but no, the neck. No, nah, that's, that's just, just fucking, that's just creepy. Even though they used to bug me, and I haven't been asked in years, but girls used to always say, can you walk on my back? No, that cannot be good for you. I'm not participating in that. Um, I, I, crack, I crack people's back, but I do it by just standing. When you wrap their arms in front of them, they'll hoist them up and then push back. Yeah. I know how to do that and do that really well, but um, it still seems wrong to me. It's, uh, yeah, there, you have to be a... Like, uh, chiropractic is a thing. You should be one of them if you're going to do that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I understand the sentiment. I do. And they won't work on me. They won't come in within a mile of me because uh, I broke my back when I was young. I tried to go to a chiropractor one time. I got like, I had a coupon. <laughs> like, something I never considered doing in my life. And that's how people are in general. And me, I'm the worst. Like, oh, I would never do that. It's stupid. Well, you're 25% off. I'm all over it. Let's try it. <laughs> oh, I got a coupon. I'm not going to waste a coupon. Fuck no. I'll <laughs> buy this for a coupon. Buy it. <laughs> anything, you, anything I refuse to do, just uh, give me a coupon. Ever. Yeah, yeah. You have to it. I will be a fan and I'll su support it and talk about it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, 50% off. I'd be stupid not to do that. <laughs> Oh, uh, terrible for that, but, uh, yeah, so don't crack your neck, kids, um, yeah, don't do that. Don't crack your neck, go to a professional, pay somebody, yes. let them do it, so if something goes wrong, somebody has somebody that can they can sue. Exactly, 
That's it. Really, the goal is everything. We should go.